Mad Max. So where are we today and what's going on? Um, well, it's the RoboCup and there's actually lots of people here, which I didn't expect. Over a hundred students from nine different schools across Kelowna are here all today to figure out who has the strongest robot. Oh yeah! <laughs> yes. yes. Well, I taught robot robotics for years and years at KSS, and this this is one of the events I had in the classroom. So I thought, well, why not expand it to get some of the other kids to to get involved with it? How's today going so far? Pretty good. I haven't won lost yet. Okay. Uh huh. Did yeah. you do it last year too? No, it's my first year. Well, this is year two. Last year we had 30 teams. This year we have 50, and we've pretty well maxed up maxed out how many teams we have because the gym can't hold any more. So there's more teams that want to enter. So we're going to have to find a bigger venue or keep it to 50. I'm not sure what to do here. Yeah. It's pretty popular. Yes. Oh my gosh, she's flying! Oh. It's great because one of the initiatives that the uh, provincial government education department wants is coding. Coding and problem solving. And this is exactly the kind of stuff they're looking for. We have kids are programming the robots, they're building the robots. It's real-time problem solving, not just out of a textbook, do this question, do this answer. There's issues the kids have to deal with and they fix it and they go on with it. So it's good to see. So the winner is determined by a battle, one-on-one -on -one with another robot. If you push the other robot off the ring, or if you flip the other robot, so it's like a sumo wrestling match in Japan where you try to throw the opponent off the ring. It's nothing like I expected either, because, well... Organizers told me that they hope to extend this competition outside of Kelowna in the next couple of years. For Castanet News, I'm Elena Kelly.